Hi and welcome to Games Quest. We hope that you guys are enjoying our episode so far and we've got some really good stuff in store for you this week. So we'll be playing Splendour with our rather tongue-in-cheek friend Gav. But first, yeah, it's going to be messy. Uh, I believe it was Grab the Vaseline Grandma, it's going to get ugly. <laughs> um, but first we've got more features yet again from UK Board Games Expo where Nikki chatted with Genki Gear and I caught up with the wonderful guys from the new Tabletop Gaming magazine. As always, we've got another raffle come up as well, so stick around to the end to find out more details about the prizes we've got to give away, so you don't miss out. Hi guys, I'm here at the event, and uh, I'm here with my friend Lydia at Genki Gear. So uh, I just Hello. thought I'd introduce you. So first of all, can you give us a little bit of a background about what you do? Right, well, um, Genki Gear are primarily a t-shirt company. We produce original, unique, kind of geeky, uh, I think our tagline kind of says it all. They're weird, but still rather nice. <laughs> so we kind of do cute, but with a little bit of a twist. Oh. Yeah. Um, everything's completely originally done. Uh, my partner, Phil, does the art for all the designs. And then we have them um, silkscreen printed, and they're all um, completely ethical and uh, really top quality. Quality uh, is as important to us as, as the designs are, really. I'm, I'm really impressed by the broad range of different characters. <laughs> it seems like you're hitting all of the niches right in one go. Is there any particular item that's been particularly popular over this uh, weekend? Barry. 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 Barry is um Barry is awesome. Barry is Barry is not a unicorn but would love to be a unicorn. <laughs> but it's, he's 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 a cosplaying horse who stuck a twig to his head with duct tape. And and we're we're going to run a competition at some point to name his his completely gloomy friend who is not playing along in any way. Wow, I I'm I think he's a Derek. He's but a sweet. Uh, I don't know. I think Neil. You Neil see, everybody has a different a, a different thing for what it for what they think I his friend is. But everybody knows <laughs> that kind of friend who's like, no, no. no. I don't come to the events to cosplay. You're too yeah. enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> but are you actually having a good good? Oh, event we're having a game? fantastic event. Oh. Um, we launched. It, we're it's our tenth anniversary this year. <gasps> and we launched a brand new well range. Done. Thank you. <laughs> um, which is the Genki Gear Triple Ten, which is ten brand new designs for ten pounds each, and it's to thank all our customers for supporting us for ten years. So the hence Triple That's Ten. A, that is a really good idea. Um, but we launched it last weekend at the MCM Comic Con, and unfortunately they cleaned us out of stock. Oh, rather, it was very popular. Even That's to, good though, thing. That's I know, good but we thing. thought we've ordered like lots and lots of stock for both events, and no, <laughs> not enough. But people have been really nice about um, you know the fact that we've got out of stocks and. Um, they're willing kind of to kind of wait for the t-shirts to be posted out to them oh, and things great. but the range is going fantastically well, and people really love the concept that you know we're, ha we're, we're actually doing something to celebrate our 10 years. Yeah that's really good, I mean they're really good t-shirts so they're Thank worth you. the wait, I 100% definitely promote this, this needs to be more <laughs> out there people. I mean in terms of like the future you've got these t-shirts yes. for the 10 year anniversary, yep. is there anything that you have lined up that we can look forward to? Um, well, we'll be doing what we're going to do is through, we're, we're carrying the anniversary on for the whole year. So basically run it ending May next year and, mm. and every um, like six weeks we're going, what we're going to do is add another couple of designs to the range and, and uh, retire a couple of designs. So every time people see us, they, they should see something fresh oh, in the 10 good. for 10 range rather wow. than it being the static 10 designs for the whole year. Um, we've also got a couple of new t-shirts coming out early July because there's, we've got lots of shows on in July. Awesome, because I mean like, I mean, there's a lot of ears, hip things here that I'm really looking forward to. I mean, the fact you've got ears, they have ears, like I don't yes. know if you've seen them, they're fluffy ears. They're the official Yaya Han. Um, we met Yaya Han at London Super Comic Con last year. She's a big American cosplayer. She's absolutely lovely. She really is just so nice. Um, but she approached us about stocking her official products. So we're the only UK stockists of the Yaya Han. A uh, range of cosplay accessories. Um, I mean that in itself, which we love. That's so we amazing. are we actually <laughs> import them directly from her from the states. There's even um, there's unicorn horns. Unicorn horns. The fact that there's yeah. unicorn horns means I'm, you should uh, yeah. come and get one of these unicorns. Well, it's been really lovely seeing you. I'm really looking forward it's to seeing you guys at more events. But thanks for talking to us. And uh, you're yeah, welcome. Definitely. It was lovely to talk to you. Enjoy the rest of your run. Thank there. you. See you guys. <laughs> Bye. Hi there. We're playing Splendor as we said before. So. We already know the rules, but we'll give you a quick run through. So you have resources, emeralds, jets, sapphires, rubies, diamonds, and gold. Every turn you get to take one action out of the following four. You can take two of a gem if there's more than four in the stack. You can take three of any combination of different gems. You can spend a number of gems to buy a 
bonus card, which will give you free gems at the start of your turn, or you can reserve a card face down and gain a gold. Gold can be used as any gem. Right, so we're going to play a couple of turns so you can get a basic idea, and then we're going to cut and go to the end of the game so you don't have to watch us kind of faffing about with each other. <laughs> so the youngest player goes first, so Nikki at nine years old gets to go first. So Nikki? Yay, two for me in the red. Um, I'll take three flavours. Gav? I'm going to reserve this card. Okay. And take me some dolls. Certainly. Oh, by the way, then, by the way, folks, this is Gav, our long suffering friend who we draft in when we need him. Yeah, my go? Yep, your go. Can you, can, you, can you guess what I'm going to be doing? Have you figured it out yet? Is it playing badly? Yes. <laughs> um, I am going to take. Oh, damn it, I can't take rubies. Uh, I'm going to take two diamonds. Nice. Indeed. There you go. Uh, I'm going to take um, uh, uh, these. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. Guess what I'm doing, bitch? And then refill. So I'm now, every turn, going to get one of these. Yeah, you're going to get an emerald for free every turn. Um, I did my maths wrong. Great. I'm going to take a jet. Actually, no, I'm going to take two rubies. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy my card. Certainly. That I have in my hand. Oh, smooth. Yep. He's all, Snap. He's all sneaky like a wizard. <sighs> I go right. Yep. Okay, cool. So um, I get a green. Okay, so welcome back. Um, we've just played through the game. I focused on getting nobles. Gav has fought me for resources the whole way. And Nikki has been making slowly but assured expensive purchases. Uh, I'm yeah. on 14 points. I've just had good old King Hizzy and the Busy come and be my friend. So, Gav, if you'd like to take your turn. I'm going to take this card. But why? I'm going to be spending gems and things. Why? Why do you need that one? That's the one I was going to get. Well, tough. Yeah. Screw you! <laughs> so, Nikki? So I'm pretty screwed now, because there's nothing that you can do. Um, well... I'll just, can, I'm just going to outright buy this. Oh wait, no I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Even with all of those gems? There's nothing I can buy. No, wait, I'll get this one. Okay, well done. You've bought a thing. I bought a thing. Um, I have four, two... One, I'll buy this. This puts me at 16 points. So, Gav, you have your turn. So, I've got to buy a card worth eight, eight. to win the game. When the maximum, I think, is five. Right, okay. I, yeah. think, I think I'm not going to win the game. Why do we even bother playing with you, Molly? Because, uh, let's see, when you don't get help, you lose. I don't get help. Okay. Never. Uh, Only because you try and help me. Age of War. <laughs> Right, so okay. Gab, if you take um, your turn, I, um, which you'll be... Oh, sorry, that needs to refill. That needs to refill. Well, I'm going to buy that. Okay, there we go. And we refill, and I am the winner. Mm -mm -mm. Whatever. So uh, we'll see you for the next game, folks. I hope you enjoyed it, and you can find out where to buy it below. Table flip. Hello, it's day three of UK Board Games Expo, and I am here with Rob. He's the editor of the new Tabletop Gaming magazine. So, um, why'd you launch it? Well... Blimey, how long have you got? So, okay. I am a member of a games club up in Nottingham. Yep. And we get together every week and we were talking about how there was nothing out there that really covered all the different games that we play. So, on a Wednesday night, people could be playing King of Tokyo, Infinity, Kings of War. Is this War the, basically the professional version of, I could do that? Well, <laughs> kind of. It was kind of, we were thinking, well, why is there nothing out there? Then I pitched it at work because mm. my kind of day job is actually writing for a magazine called the Collector's Gazette which okay. is about collecting old toys so there's kind of a crossover in you know obsessive compulsive collecting I need to have that miniature or I need to have that toy no that that's a little bit too accurate I think you, yeah, you, yeah that, that one's a bit close to the knuckle well, for some but no I, I get what you well, mean I was yeah. thinking from, well all the lead under the bed judging by me is that yeah. I kind of get obsessive but new shinies anyway so I pitched this idea at work it was kind of a bit of a harebrained scheme. Yeah, yeah. And then we said, okay, well, let's let's try it out. Yeah. Tabletop gaming Well, it's is, huge. Yeah, it's huge. And it's a growing hobby yeah. as well. And Warners, who I work for, have a load of different hobby titles. From yeah. railway modelling to camping to bird watching. So why not a tabletop gaming magazine as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, the magazine is nice and all pretty. And I mean, it's got a hefty weight to it. Like, that's... 
you could you could probably fight off a burglar with that. Yeah, that was the aim. So yeah. we wanted it to be a self-defense tool as well as a magazine. Uh, oh, fair enough. Of an extra bonus, but yeah, the, it's probably boss, anti-ballistic as well. Actually, that's. Yeah, if you've got it in a pocket, it could ricochet off a bullet. Okay. It's all that's... useful things. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's included in the price. Yeah. That's not and extra. there's words in it. I'm, I'm, I'm liking that as words. I mean, they're almost secondary to the yeah, other I know. features as well. Yeah, I know. Who wants to read these days? Uh, there's YouTube. Although I keep pushing play on these videos. Like, the videos aren't playing. Is there, that... there will be a digital version. <laughs> we. Uh... Oh, there is actually. Yeah, I'm yeah. just taking the piss. Well, <laughs> you could have a digital version now as well. But, I mean, this. What, uh, talking about the kind of thickness of it, my yeah. boss always talks about the thud factor. Yeah, you want to drop it, <coughs> it makes a big thudding sound. So oh, that's okay. what we really wanted to go for. So this is the first issue we launched on Friday at the show. Yeah. Very nerve wracking, but it's gone really well. And oh, cool. I think it shows that people want this kind of magazine. Yeah, as I well. mean, well, there used to be uh, Deckmaster by many moons ago that was all about card games. Yeah. And that got three issues, I think. And then they didn't know where they were going with it, and it all kind of fell apart. Really, really hoping it doesn't happen with this. It would be nice to be able to, you know, go into WH Smiths or whatever and go, hey, look, a magazine. Yeah, so we will be in WH Smiths from June the 19th, mm. and then it will be in gaming stores and Forbidden Planet, I think, as oh, well. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, and the idea is we're going to go quarterly after that. So okay. just, you know, to make sure that there's enough content in each issue, to make uh, sure it's nice and thick. Okay, okay. Rather yeah. than being monthly and potentially not having. A really big thick magazine yeah I think that's better so because that was that was kind of thing that was burbling away at the back of my mind was will you be able to get enough to make it the thud factor yeah, yeah. without I mean the, the idea as well is is that we want to kind of go out and meet the people who are making these yeah. games so there's lots of interviews in this one and that's something we'll definitely continue with in the future oh, okay, as well. okay. so actually going out and talking to people who make the games yeah yeah oh, fair enough so a bit like what we're doing but written yes exactly yeah. fair dues fair dues well great chatting with you um, obviously, what's on the horizon for you is the next issue. Yeah, so we're starting now. The next issue will be themed around the best of British. So oh, okay. looking at all, because you come around this show or you go to Salute, and there are so many great British yeah. startups or established firms as well. So yeah, we're going to be looking at those and concentrating on cool, that. Cool. So where can people find you on the internet? So they can at the minute it's uh, on Facebook. So yep. if you look at Tabletop Gaming Magazine, yep. uh, and that's the best place to find us. And all the information's on there. Brilliant. Well, thank you, mate. I hope we'll right, talk you. to you again soon. Cheers. So the guys at Tabletop Gaming Magazine were brilliant and the magazine is well worth a look. Uh, you can find it wherever any good magazines are sold and probably where the crappy ones are sold as well, I guess. Well, I know there's always some Kickstarters on the go and we've been looking at a couple that we think the campaigns are running at the moment and we think that will be pretty sweet if they meet their targets. Well, no, they, they're going to meet their targets. We only pick out the best. Um, so we've got the Wormwood Magnetic Dice Towers. Mm. They're made by artisans. Precision, they're beautiful. They're really they're nice. They're dice towers and dice vaults and rolling trays and stuff like that. They they aren't cheap, so if anyone would like to donate me, say, $500 <laughs> for Begging. shipping, uh, I'd love you. Begging ain't gonna get you anywhere. <laughs> Get to you everywhere. Uh, and then we have the 50th anniversary re release of Thermonuclear War, the card game board game with a cool spinner. Uh, full colour re release, um, an app for the spinner, bumper stickers, everything. Absolutely brilliant. 50 years the game's been going. It's still wonderful blowing up the world with nuclear weapons. 50 years is a long time. But indeed, indeed. Well, it's raffle time again, and we've got a number of amazing prizes to give away from our good friends at Genki Gear. Mm -hmm. So they've given us quite a few t-shirts, so we'll have a couple of competitions in the coming month. But for now, we've got these two amazing t-shirts, yeah. one male and one female. T-shirt one, which is one of their retro expired ones, and t-shirt two which is another retro inspired one. I really like that one, to be fair. And there's this amazing mug as well. Look how sweet it is. Indeed. It's a, I think it's one of their anniversary mugs as well. Yeah, it's one of their 10th anniversary 10 series. They're really, really good. So if you'd like to win them, uh, all you need to do is, as always, comment below or post on Facebook along with it. Uh, and uh, the closing date is the 24th of July, 2015. Details of our winners will be posted shortly after the closing date on all of our social media hours. So don't forget that, as well as that, our other competitions are available on our YouTube channel. So check back and see the others yeah. as well. Because you can still win if, if, it's, um, uh, if it's open. So yeah, uh, thank you to Genki Gear, Tabletop Gaming Magazine, UK Board Games Expo and Games Quest, as always, for supporting us and putting up with us. Uh, Games Quest, buy our stuff, pay our rent. <laughs> ah. Like, follow and subscribe to us on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. Well, we'll be posting all of the details of our winners and you'll be able to catch all our new episodes and, and all, all, all of our giveaways as well. Yep, so thank you for watching and be seeing you 